It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. The story itself isn't that exceptional, just a woman sneaking into the back of a supermarket, grabbing a box cutter, climbing into the rafters of the store, and refusing to come down for hours until police and the FBI talked her down. But since this was my local supermarket, the Ralph's store just up the hill, it was big news in our neighborhood, which is where I'm going with this. You see, the moment the store was closed down for the standoff, people wanted to know why. And since we're not the focus of the Los Angeles TV news outlets, and it was a Saturday anyway, the place people turned to for the latest was Nextdoor. You know Nextdoor, right? It's that app and website where neighbors post stuff like things for sale or local gossip or weird unhinged political rants. And whenever something happens like this, the people who post there start posting absolutely incorrect information because, like Twitter or Facebook, everyone wants to look like they know more than the other guys. So, right away, people posted that there was an active shooter at Ralph's, even though there was no active shooter at all. And when someone told them to knock it off, they were indignant, saying that the people have a right to know. This was while the incident was still in progress, and even the cops weren't sure what was happening. That's not the only time my neighbors have been a little unhinged on next door. You should see what some of them say about homeless people. But the bottom line is that, like Facebook, next door is a window into what your friends and neighbors are really like. And what they're really like is scary. We're surrounded by rumor mongers and know-it-alls who have no concern that spreading untruths or even outright lies might be a problem. If you want to know how America got to our present screwed-up state, take a look at the comments on next door in your own neighborhood sometime. And then make sure your doors are locked. You can count on the Evening Bulletin for real news, and there'll be more tomorrow. Until then, that's enough.